Welcome to the Long Road, Joel. I'm Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And yeah, what are we doing today? We are doing a try something new recipe called slow cooker chili mac and cheese. All right, let's get to it. Okay, guys. So the first step for this recipe is to brown your ground beef, and you also add in chili uh, chili seasoning to it. And the recipe did include uh, a recipe for chili seasoning, so that you don't have to buy it. Uh, so you know we're all about homemade here. So we did that. It was only like four spices. Well, six if you count salt and pepper. So we've added that, and uh, we're just going to brown that ground beef, and then uh, we're going to drain the fat off of it, and we'll show you the next step. Okay, so we just drained the fat off of it. It is kind of interesting. We were just saying off camera that seems like if you add the chili seasoning to it before you drain the fat off, you're going to lose a lot of your seasoning in it. But we'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, at this point, you add in half of a green bell pepper, half of a red bell pepper, onions, and garlic. If you're familiar with our channel, you know that we don't ever add the onions. We're not, we're not fans of the texture. Uh, so if you like the texture of that, then you'd be sure to add that in at this step. Okay, and it just says to, uh, keep, to cook that until the veggies are soft. So we'll show you the next step. We've gone ahead and we sprayed the inside of our slow cooker with a little cooking spray uh, because we wanted to make sure that nothing sticks. And so Joel has just added the ground beef with all those veggies in it. And we are going to add the rest of the ingredients in. We've got fire roasted tomatoes. And Joel is coming with two different kinds of beans. We got black beans and chili beans that both have been drained and rinsed. Uh, and for any of these beans, if we could find a no salt added version, we did that just to help lower the sodium content in our food a little bit. Okay, and we got that. And now we're going to add in our elbow macaroni and our one cup of beef broth. Okay, that's two cups of elbow macaroni. We'll see how this turns out. I am not a fan of elbow macaroni, so this may not go well for me. <laughs> uh, and that is one cup of beef broth. And we're just stirring that in. And then we're gonna put it on, I believe it is low for three hours. Yep, three to three and a half. Three to three and a half hours. And then at that point, we're just gonna add some shredded cheese to this. To give it a cheesiness because you know mac and cheese yep. <laughs> all right so that's it and i uh, will show you what it looks like in three to three and a half hours okay so it's been about three hours and we're going to add in some cheddar cheese and some monterey jack cheese uh, the recipe says one cup of both um, however she had down in the thing that because you want to make mac and cheese creamy, that she normally puts three cups of each. So um, we don't actually have three cups of each. So we're just going to put what we have, uh, which will be um, a few cups, but not that much. But So um, like I said, we're just going to add that. And then it says to go for 10 to 15 minutes and uh, let that go for about 10 to 15 minutes to let it melt. All right, so now for the taste test. Yep. Uh, we'll just give you a little uh, a little note if I if we look like we're melting right now. <laughs> Last night our power went off. Uh, what the power company said was something came into contact with the power lines. Oh, I just realized, but we got the I flipped the phone. Okay, uh, something came into contact with the power lines. So, I don't know, but anyway, the point is that this morning when the power, after the power came back on, uh, the air conditioning wouldn't come back on. And it's been interesting, but anyway, we're waiting for our repairman to come and see what's wrong with the air conditioner. 
So it's about 85 degrees inside the house right now. <laughs> so I got my hair pulled back and everything trying to stay cool right now. And had I known that this was gonna be a problem, I don't know if I would have planned chili for today. A chili mac and cheese sounds like it's gonna be hot. By the way, guys, I'm not normally a fan of elbow noodles. Um, so, um, and I'm not normally a fan of mac and cheese, but I think that's just that mac and cheese doesn't have anything in it but cheese, and it just seems a little bland to me. That's pretty good. I do think <clears throat> some of the seasoning may have washed out with the yeah with the um, beef fat so yeah it's not very spicy but I don't I mean it's not necessarily a bad thing that it was washed out I guess but um yeah I'm good with it I mean it's it, it, yeah. I would eat it again um, it for me I'm still not a huge fan of macaroni and cheese and probably never will be because to me that's just noodles and cheese and I don't uh, I don't get it um but at least with this it's got Peppers, Go ground beef, something else. Yeah. I'd yeah. probably be okay with like lobster mac and cheese or something. Lobster some, mac and cheese is good. Some chicken mac, some something with some chicken added in there, something sure. like I need something with some flavor added to mac and cheese for me. But okay. I'm glad that we found a recipe that I'm okay with because he really likes mac and cheese. So, yep. all right. So don't forget to like. Subscribe and hit the notifications bell for updates when we upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes on the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's going to do it today for the Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. Don't forget the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.